this is Aaron Malin with the Kicker Global Training Department. We're about to jump into the KX amplifiers. Now I'm assuming that you've already watched our introductory series about KX amps. If you haven't, please stop this video, go back to that video, and start again. Because what we're going to do now is get more in-depth with how to set gains, bass boost, and all those fun things. Source material is critical to this stage of setting up your gains. A lot of folks think that the gain on the amplifier is a volume control. It's not. Really what you're doing is you're matching the output of the source unit to the input of the amplifier. So the source material is critical. Now, whatever the loudest music you typically listen to is, that's what you want to start with. For example, if you love classic rock, you're a Led Zeppelin guy, use that music to set your gains. If you listen to mostly hip hop or rap, use 50 Cent or whatever else is really cool right now. Try using that material when you're setting your gains to get the proper overall setting for the system. You want to be sure your bass is at zero, your treble's at zero, your equalizer's off, your loudness is off, your balance is set to the middle, your fader is set to the middle, everything is as flat as possible because you want to have the best sound quality going into the amplifier that you can get. You're going to have your volume control set at a neutral position as well. You're going to start at zero, turn it all the way up, and then go back to about the three-quarter mark. This is your best undistorted signal possible. The reason we're doing this is because your system is going to be very dynamic and very loud at this point. With the loudest music you ever listen to, it'll be perfect. If you listen to something that's a little bit quieter, you can actually go beyond three quarters and it'll still sound great. For the amplifier gain, you're going to start with it all the way down. And you're slowly going to turn it up until you hear audible distortion. Now remember, when you hear distortion, it's already at about 20%, electrically speaking. So at that point, you want to turn it back just a little bit so you no longer hear the distortion. Now the amplifier is set for maximum undistorted output with just about any musical signal. We just walked you through the easiest way to set up your gains, but it is certainly not the best way. Truly, the best setup is using an oscilloscope and some test tones. We realize most folks don't have that stuff at home. That's why we went through the really simple setup. Now stay tuned for the rest of our videos. We're going to talk about the Kick EQ Plus, the subsonic filter, the low-pass filter, and everything else that's cool about these amplifiers. So stay tuned. 